guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today guys i'm going to be showing you guys how to make um how to reuse remnant fondant like how to use fondant that you have at home just you know left laying around and it doesn't have to be the same color it can be different colors like you know like when you make a cake and you have like some pieces of remnant fondant like 10 little bits not even up to 10 15 grams just make sure you take them and wrap them in clean film and then keep them for further use. I'm going to show you how to reuse all of those fondants. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Hey guys, so I have this fondant here. They're very small because normally before I used to have like so many like random leftovers, different colors. But nowadays I don't really have that much left because I use them from time to time to you know do random things. So. I'm going to be showing you like the prim the, the like primary way I use this fondant. So I'm, I took all the colors that I have and I mixed them together. And I had this red one, so I kind of decided the red one was a little too big. So I'm just going to knead it and wrap it and keep it separately. But the other ones are like kneaded them together, so we're going to see the color it forms. So the thing is, you can't really know what color it forms. <laughs> Do you get? Because it depends on what color of fondant you have, like remnant. So depending on what colors make up the um you know the batch you're trying to use you can't really know what is going to come out you get so normally i like to use it to cover my cake boards for cakes and if i feel like the color does not match the cake i'm trying to do i can maybe add a little black to me turn it gray or maybe just to turn it completely black basically that's what i do okay so now i'm just needing it to make sure it is soft enough so i'm going to take it and keep it aside and then we're going to cover our cake board with it so this video is kind of like two things so you're also going to learn how i cover my cake board okay so now i have this red one so i'm just going to knead it a little bit and then wrap it and keep it because i decided i'm not going to add it to the brown one because you know why because it's kind of a little bit big so i can add it to maybe the next red cake i have to make okay just make sure when you have remnant fondant like that for you to be able to reuse it you need to wrap it in a clean film you know what cling film is yeah the nylon wrap yeah yeah the nylon wrap so that way like it will stay like it won't just dry out and be annoying because otherwise it will be useless like that so this is our cake board that we are using today and this is our fondant so i kind of like this color yeah plus i didn't have any cake i was going to make i just wanted to use it to show you guys how i like you know use my remnant fondant so you're going to be needing some cornstarch on your cake on your mat and I'm so sorry my mat is torn. I keep saying I'll buy another one, but I never really get to it. Like, I go to the store and I buy different things. And I see the mat, but it just keeps my mind. <laughs> I'm so sorry it's torn. And it's been torn for almost like three months now. God, it's embarrassing. But I never remember. I don't know why. Anyway, so we're trying to cover our kickboard. And then you want to um, roll your fondant to like to at least the perimeter of the cake board you are trying to use this cake board is about 25 centimeters so what i'm trying to do is maybe get it to about 30 so it can cover conveniently without stressing me out so that's what we are going to do so if you notice i'm kind of rolling it in different directions that's because that is what's comfortable for me yeah different people say like roll fondant in one direction don't lift your hand like just roll it all at once in one fluid motion that's i feel like to me is gibberish if you're going to do something do it however it's convenient for you that way you even get to find better ways of doing stuff you know there is no like one you know you know one way to do one thing so you can even discover a better way of doing it so like why if i stick to the rules yeah so now what i'm doing is i'm just making sure my cake board is wet so i took my um food brush and i put a little water on it so I'm trying to make sure the cake board is wet and I rubbed it. So you want to make sure you rub it on the, especially the edges of the cake board. So I lifted my fondant. If you see, can you see how thin it is? I lifted my fondant with a rolling pin and then I'm going to smooth it with my hands. And that's all you have to do. So simple, like extremely simple. So the remnant of this fondant, I'm going to wrap it again and add it to another batch of remnants. Next time I'm making like remnant fondant. <laughs> Do you get that way you don't waste your fondant and you don't waste your money because fondant is expensive and it's you know it's time consuming to make if you make it yourself okay so i'm going to show you how to cut off the excess and do it nicely and neatly so normally i like to use my cake turntable 
yeah so i can like do like use different angles and stuff so if you lift it with just your hand you might get like an imprint on your keyboard and you don't want an imprint so i decided to lift it with her knife or maybe a sharp object so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, turntable and then you're going to use your knife and then scrape off you don't have to use a knife just use a sharp object it doesn't have to be too sharp something with just like you know a very thin edge so that way it will cut nicely and neatly and you won't have jagged edges around your kickboard so see what i'm doing i'm going to turn it and then cut again until i am completely done and that's all guys that's how to reuse that's how to repurpose your remnant fan and that way you don't throw anything away the only thing I throw away is maybe if I don't wrap it well in cling film and it kind of becomes crusty and dries out, then it is useless. But if you wrap it well, it's going to stay moist and fan line can last after you've used it for. If you saw it well in a cool, dry place and there, you don't have mold in your house or anything, it can last three, four months even after you've used it before. So make sure you don't waste your stuff because you know you're trying to make profit. You need to make profit, not waste it. So thank you guys so much for always watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed this one too. And I will see you in my future tutorials, yeah. So that's all we did. See? So the remnant, again, I'm going to wrap it and add it to the next batch of remnant finance. <laughs> it's a cycle that never ends. Okay. So, please give me a thumbs up on this video. And I love you guys. Bye.